Hi, I'm the Magpie. And I'm Jack. And this is Mondays with Magpie. Hi, we're back again. Today we are going to make two things, Jax. We are going to make no knead bread dough. For those of you who have never made bread, this is the easiest, simplest way to make bread. Cool. For Especially those, if you don't need bread, you want to make no knead bread. Yes. And then for those of us who are bread makers, you are going to look at this and you're going to say, it's Why would I ever need again? Yeah. Cut need. But you would say it's never going to work. And then it does. By golly, it works. <laughs> <It's> awesome. <laughs> and then after this, we are going to make a keto dish for those of you who are on keto diets or just on low carb diets. So here's the thing. You can make this for your family for lunch or for dinner. And those of them, those of you that are on keto just eat the salad, the salmon, we're making a salmon avocado salad. Yeah. And those of you that are not on keto, you have the roll with. Shove that gluten in yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's what you do. Yeah, some of us right. are glutenful. <laughs> the first thing you do is you measure one and a half cups of milk. I already did it. I'm you, sorry, you won't get to see me do that. I know. And you put it in the microwave, which you're not going to see us do because scintillating as it is, you know, we think you can live without that. Anyway, it's off cold. It's warm to the finger, all right? That's what they said to do, warm to your finger. I also melted six ounces of butter. Yeah. This was Finally. one minute, this was one minute, and then you have to let it cool a little bit. So don't dump real hot butter because it'll kill the yeast. All right, so now here we go. Now we are ready to rock and roll. All right, Jax. Yes. Ah, this is always the scary right. part. Four cups of flour. Use this. Oh. Well, then let's move this one out of the way. All right. Four cups. Four cups. Coming your way. Four cups. Uh, I got no language. One. Uno. <laughs> <laughs> now you need a quarter cup of sugar. And luckily for me, there's a quarter cup in there. Oh, I wonder how that happened. Just one? Yeah, just one. Just one. Now, this is yeast. I buy it by the bulk because I bake a lot. You can just buy one packet or two, you know, the things that are coming, three packets, you're gonna use one packet or two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. All right, this is like the coolest stuff. Apparently, it doesn't look like it, but it's dormant, it's alive. It's alive! Two no, and two. a quarter. One. one, there's two, two, and then a quarter. Quarter. Okay. Now, on the other side of the bowl, she's gonna put one and a half teaspoons of salt. Don't wanna mix the salt and the yeast because the salt will kill the yeast. Not friends, you see, not friends. One and a half. Okay. So there's your one on the other side. Over here. Yeah. And a, and a half. And a half. Ah. We are going to take big spoon, big spoon, and we're gonna kind of, you know, do a. But I don't want to touch those. Yeah, make a well in the middle. It's a make a well. You're supposed to make a well in the middle. So now what do I do? Gonna do. It? No. Oh, now. Now I'm making a well. Now, we are going to a manual making a well. <laughs> yes. Now we are going to dump the milk. See, it's all very, very easy. I'm very good at dumping. Dump the milk into the well. I hope. Yeah. Dump the milk and butter. It went out. Melted butter. And I'm gonna crack an egg right here in the bowl. Yeah. Get it all mixed up. And it would be like, it's like muffin dough. It's a, you just can't even imagine it's gonna, I just can't imagine it's gonna make bread. Make sure it's all wet. But she's done it a few times, it really works. Yeah, it does, it's delicious. They're really, really good rolls. Can I use my hands? No, keep on mixing with a spoon. That's the whole point, you mix it with a spoon. Okay. All right, you don't get your hands in there. That way you can hard. keep the rings on. That's it, thick and sticky. Remember Ooh, those two it's words. coming together. All right, something's yeah. happening in there. Good. Now, you are going to... I can't believe this does work. I know. So now put it, kind of get it all coagulated in the middle. 
Yeah, that's good. All right, that's good. Now wipe off the spoon with your little fingers. You said I couldn't touch my fingers. Well, we're <laughs> using fingers here. She's, oh, she's such a brat. <laughs> okay, and now we're gonna cover it with um, saran with um, plastic wrap. I would put the plastic wrap over here, Jack. Make okay. it easier for yourself. I'm trying not to touch it with my sticky fingers. Yeah, that's all right. You're gonna use two pieces anyway because this is a big old bowl. You did it backwards, dear. I was just testing to see if you would catch me doing it back. Okay. All right. These are two. Yeah. Ready? I definitely yeah. think. Pull it over. Oh, look good. There you go. Hmm. Cut, please. It all gets done in the end. <laughs> just sometimes all right. not. Now, what we have done is we have uh, preheated our oven to 200. All right, I'm gonna put this in the oven, but I'm gonna turn the oven off. So we just have this warm environment now for, for oh, the for bread. Oh, for it to rise? Yeah, for it to rise. So that just right? increases how fast yeah. it works. Oh, there is, it, there, they say put it in a draft-free place. Well, you know, God knows where there's a draft-free place in your house. I talk but, a lot. Uh, yeah, so. so it's going. <laughs> All right, here we go. Because we are taping this, I made uh, a batch this morning so that it would be ready and we don't have to wait an hour and a half and I don't have to talk to you for an hour and a half. All right, so well-floured board. And we take out the dough, which has risen considerably. And we dump it. There's a lot of dumping in this yeah. recipe. I think I need to, well, I'll use my hands. Now I will use my hands. I have a spoon. That's all right, just get it out. Whatever you can. Whatever I do, I'm not going to need there. it. Now, and here's a real good tip. Do not put this in your sink and try to clean it with a sponge because you will ruin your sponge and you'll have to throw it away. Fill it with cold water, leave it alone. It kind of all dissolves and you can get it cleaned that way. That is a good tip. All right? Tip. Good right. tip. You're going to need a 9 by 13 uh, pan. It can be glass or... or and or metal, whatever you've got. And then all I have to do is try to make this thing go. Ooh. I just sprayed it with a little vegetable sp spray. All right, now here's the trick. Now we are going to, now you can knead it a little bit. <gasps> I know. So it's a sun knead. I know, so you, so you just kind of, you just kind of get it together. That's not really kneading though, that's rolling. Yeah, well you just, because, because, now here's the trick next. Okay. We are going to cut this into 12, as equal as we can get, bits. Where's the little thingy? Yeah, okay. right here. So now cut it in half first. Okay. Yeah. That half? Yeah, now cut each half in half. And now cut each half into how many? One, two, three, four, three. Cut each half cut into each, three? <laughs> cut each, each section. section into three. Got it. All right. Section. One, three. two, three. Four, five, six, in this wonderful seven, eight, nine of lesson in math. I 10, have to say my math is 12. getting a little better with my work with Maggie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so now here's what you do. So you roll it in some flour and you put it in your hand. All right, All right. put it in your hand. And you go pinch, 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 and you kind of should have been pinch it. So you now pinches. look. Then you lay it down like this and you go round, 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 round. See what I'm doing? Just kind of going around. And then you have little round thing, all right? Then you put it in, we're gonna do three across, four down, that'll give us our 12th. Pinch and push. Yeah, you kind of pinch. flatten it out in your hand and then, then pinch it up, and then we then we put it down okay. on the flour, and you kind of just do a, a roll, 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 roll to get it nice and round. All right now, I have done these and they haven't been really round. But should I not have gotten the flour on the top? No, that's okay. That would be all right. All right, so there's my one. And I'll put yours over here. Are we happy with the roundedness? Yes, actually, very, very good, Jack. All right, now oh, we are going to continue until we have the whole tray full. So as you can see, we have made our 12 rolls. Now, Very Jax, easy. And I guess I asked Maggie when we were doing it, the point isn't really the kneading of it. When you're doing it, the point is just to shape it and get the holes out. Yeah. I mean, like any To air make, a nice, make a nice just like round. And um, it will, some of them don't touch. They will touch, when they're all finished, they will touch. All right, let's cover this with a saran, with a plastic wrap. And we are gonna leave it to rise for another 30 to 40 minutes. 
That's the Kindle reading time. That's it. That's it. <laughs> so the thing with these, with any bread, got a, like, you just in. you just have to be home. All right, you just have that's it. You just have to be home. This is simple. No need. You don't have to worry about did I need it enough or did I whatever. All right. 30 to 40 minutes, it's going to go in a quiet place in the kitchen. There is no place in my house that's quiet. But. <laughs> so now part two of our luncheon or dinner is going to be a salmon avocado salad. Yum. So the first thing you need is two small salmon fillets. And, uh, two small, uh, like... And it's raw, right? Yeah, raw. Yeah. Like a total of maybe eight ounces. There, I think these these might be five ounce fillets, but um, no four ounce, whatever, whatever you, four or five ounces. Just eyeball it, looks like yeah. that. It sort of looks like, yeah. Too small is about all we have, too small. All right, and you will need two small avocados. All right, <laughs> so then we drizzle with olive oil, just a little bit, just drizzle. Drizzle with olive oil. There is no, oh yeah, okay. It's a skill, it's a skill. Drizzled. All right, a little bit of, little bit of salt. And I will just, a little bit of elegant. Yeah. And a little bit of pepper. Is that enough? Yes, yeah, enough. A little bit of pepper. Now, this is not a cheat. When I buy lemons, I buy great big bags of lemons, and if you leave them alone, they will go bad. So what I do is I squeeze them. First of all, I zest them and put the zest in a bag in the freezer. Oh my gosh, that's and a then, great idea. Yeah, and then I juice them. Now this is pure lemon juice. So you will think, oh, she, she, this is not fake. And, and then you just keep that in the refrigerator? Yeah, just and keep it, it in the fridge. It stays? Yep, stays. Nice. I'm genius. You are a genius. Actually, if you could get these at some stores, we all know which one, but whatever. You know, like a big giant amount. Yeah, and cheaper. they're not, and then they have little bits of something in it to save them. Now, this is gonna go in an oven, for a 200 degree oven for about 30 minutes, all right? But you're gonna check it at about 20 to make sure it's done, all right? So here it goes. The salmon has come out of the oven. It is cooked, it's nice and soft, it's not overdone. You don't wanna overdo it or else it gets like paper. Okay. All right, so we're gonna set that aside. And we're gonna get everything else you ready. Let it cool or something. Yeah, you should let it cool. Out of the oven, let it cool. All right, now we're gonna dice a small onion they said a small white onion. I said, <laughs> why a white oven? <laughs> oh, see, now you've got me all mixed up. We're gonna do a scallion, because a scallion has a little bit more gentle taste. So, Jacqueline, here's what we're gonna do. I was dicing it. Yeah, I know. So we're gonna cut it in half so that we have something to work with. Okay. All right, a nice surface. And we're gonna make little cuts like that. Little oh, cuts. I remember this with the big yeah. oven. And then we have to do a this is the one, you have to be careful, watch your fingers, and then cut. Nice fine dice because when you're eating salmon salad, you do not want a big chunk of yeah, onion. A great big chunk of anything, actually. Yeah. So, all right, so that's it. Put that in the bowl. We have the bowl. Actually, this is a good acting tip if you ever need to just put some onion in your. And then you cry. <laughs> Forever you have to do. My mother used to sing a song, I never heard an onion, why should it make me cry? <laughs> now we need two tablespoons of fresh dill. So um, the dill in my garden is gone, it's, it's passed. So I bought some and it's really easy. The uh, Your food store will have it. Okay, Jax, okay. here's the knife. Let's see, let's see how much we've got. That sounds really professional. That's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> just annoy that yeah, that's better. That's the way. I was just doing the first part. I um chef. I think that's one tablespoon. So that's yeah. it? Or so it'd be two. Well, we're gonna do two because I'm gonna think be a it, long time for holding this finger up. I mean really, you know. What, there we go. A bit more. I'll throw some more on and you keep chopping. Now, the way to get it to the uh, here, the way to get it to the board is you Scoop it on the knife. That looks like a tablespoon. Throw it in. All right, now here is your salmon. So now we have two forks, and we're just gonna do that. All right, we're gonna we're gonna shred it. Go ahead, shred it. Okay. Gently shred it, shred it, so that it stays in the in the bowl. All right. 
So there's that. So now we're going to mix that up a little bit okay. just to get the, uh, the onion off the bottom. These are for work. Okay. Yeah. I'm just kind of stir it and Looking get everything very pretty. Everything mixed in. That's the whole I wore point. salmon stripes because I heard you <laughs> salmon. And I didn't know, so <laughs> I only live here. I didn't know what we were cooking. <laughs> now what I did, a young man and I stood in the food store yesterday and squeezed avocados. Now I bought four. Oh, that sounds very yeah, I know. So I told him, I said, you can tell your friends that you stood by an old lady and squeezed avocados. Um, because I wasn't, day. we need to get some nice ripe ones and I was not sure we were kind of you know doing what we had to do to check That's but a little apparently, gentle squeeze yeah you're supposed to you cut them yeah without cutting also your, you know how you can tell is if you pop one of these if it pops right out oh then you can you know yeah, it's, it's, oh, I did live in Southern California for a while so you got to be avocado savvy that's pretty good see they just pop right out all right, the trick right is, <laughs> out <of> there. <laughs> you gotta get, okay, Jax, one more. Okay. Let's do, I don't, no, not to do, uh, no, no, we're not gonna cut it. Okay. <gasps> I don't understand. So I never tell her. Yeah. It's always a surprise. She never knows what we're doing. Right, oh, I know careful. what you're gonna do. Are you gonna fill them? Yeah. Oh, for the yeah. keto people. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Twist it off. Oh, you think? Oh, I don't know. It's nice and green. Yeah, that one's good. Yeah, twist. All right, now that we have cut our avocados in half and taken the seeds out, we are going to scoop, leaving a little bit of the meat of the avocado around the side so that when you dig into it with a fork, you still have a little bit left. All right, so we're going to do that to all four of them. We're so going to chop like it up, light part. add it in. The lighter part. All right. The dark so, green, is that what we're doing? Yeah. Yeah, it's said to leave like a half inch of meat in the thing, so that's enough. Yeah. Yeah, because when you when you dig at it with your fork, you're gonna pick up a little bit more of the uh, avocado. Give it a couple uh, chops with the knife, and then <laughs> quietly. <laughs> All right, now use the knife like I showed you and scoop and put them in. Oh, they're going in here. Yeah. Oh, what's happening? I'm just here for the posing. All right, there. Now, very gently mix that in. So that I don't make guacamole? Yeah, we don't want to make guacamole. Okay, then it says one quarter of a cup. You can use creme fraiche, you can use mayo. I'm using sour cream. All right, so this is eight ounces. So how about that? One quarter. All right, mix it in, Jack. See What's it? What is creme fraiche? Do you know? Creme fraiche is just a cream. It's sort of a mix of sour cream and regular cream. Okay. Um, so, if you're hoity-toity and you have a store near you that has creme fraiche, I looked for it. I was going to try to be hoity-toity, but uh, what do you think? You think it's uh, moist pretty enough? Incorpor yeah, pretty incorporated. All right. And so then, the last part of this whole business is so far. This is pretty easy. We scoop it back into the um, into the avocado. Now I have had. You're going to do this by yourself, dear. I have so hold the thing in one hand. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. I thought you were going to tell me. Yes. No. Just no. put it in. Yeah. Put it in. Pile it up. We have four, so we're going to, or however we're many. Want to save some for the bread, or yeah, we'll see see how many fit. It might just be three. I don't know. We'll see how because we want them to look you know really nice and stacked. Okay. So. Oh no, I think we're going to get four out of it. So, but imagine having your lady friends for lunch or your man friends for lunch and you put this alongside another salad, a green salad, and you've got, it's really elegant. It's fancy and it didn't really take much. No, it doesn't take a lot of time. All right, so that's it. And you can see we have plenty. We have a little bit left over so you can eat it before anybody comes in or um, you can just really, really pile it. I have had um, luncheons for my friends mm. where um, I, I don't bother with the avocado shell. I just put it in a pretty bowl and we just serve it just like That's that. how I had it and I was like, you kind of teach me how to make that. Yeah, it was, so it's really, really delicious and very healthy. That's it, keto friendly. So if you're on a keto diet or a low carb diet, it is absolutely legal if you want to use the term. Alrighty. So Jacqueline, our buns took 20 minutes in the oven. Buns. Buns. Buns and for the buns. So I took the last two tablespoons of butter, melted it in the microwave, and then when the buns are still hot, you 
brush them with butter. You bathe them in butter. Yes, you bathe them in butter. It makes them shine and pretty. It smells and then, amazing. It does smell I'm good. Not ready to eat them. Yeah. Now, can you imagine if you were never baked anything in your life and you pulled these out of the oven, you would think you were a genius. You so, are a genius, quite yeah. frankly. Yeah, yeah. So there we are. All right, so now we're gonna pull one out. You should be able to break it almost. Yeah. Wait a minute. There we go. This is because we're rushing. Because we can't oh, wait. Wow. Isn't that nice? I can't believe that, that works good? so well. Yeah. Honestly. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Because with real bread, it's easy too, mm -hmm. but you have to knead it. It really does take elbow grease and yeah. makes a lot of mess. Your fingers yeah. are all gross. And people say like, oh, I don't want to knead. I don't want to knead. I don't want to knead. Yeah, yeah, knead bread. But here we have, you made a dozen rolls, did Fresh your any work, and now you get to eat them. And now you get to eat them. Wow. So it's very, it's very so nice. Good. You can put more butter on it if you felt like it. Oh, really? If you're not doing keto, you can put some salmon salad on it. It tastes like 10 times better than the rolls that you get in, the, that are like the pop rolls that yeah, you get in. Yeah, because it's, oh, yet. those pop rolls are disgusting. Yeah, but these taste like disgusting. These are better. delicious. Mm. And this is my favorite. Mm. I'm gonna make this completely. Mm. This is so good. Don't forget, salad, not scallion. Shallot, not scallion. <laughs> and it will be delicious. You have finished making your bread and you have a big mess. Now Jacqueline ran over to get a paper towel. But before you do that, get your bench scraper. If you don't have a bench scraper, get a spatula. And you just... Maggie knows that the thing I hate worse than anything is the cleanup of cooking. Yeah. So she gives me all these great tips for this. But bread dough is particularly awful because it's actually what you're making is you're making paste. You know that. These good. things are like five bucks. I think I got one on. It's called online. a bench, a bench oh, scraper. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you do this first and get as much of the muck up as you possibly can, and then you can put water on it because if you put water on it right away you will just make glue glue 